And now for the EFD group, Mr Farage. Well, for the first time this year, we have not just Mr Barroso, but President Van Rompuy has come to the chamber as well. And yet, look around you. Uh, what have we got? 5% turnout amongst members. Well, they haven't missed much. Uh, just the usual drivel about the fight against youth unemployment. Well, with 62% youth unemployment in Greece uh, and with Spain not far behind, it's perhaps about time we were honest and admitted we're causing it ourselves. We're doing it through the misconstruction of the euro, through the obsession uh, with global warming and the over-regulated business model. And yet your recipe is more bureaucracy, a youth guarantee scheme, another six billion for the youth employment initiative, the setting up of the European Alliance for Apprenticeships, backed up by the quality framework for traineeships, and the list goes on and on and on of yet more highly paid civil servants setting up organisations that will achieve nothing. Until the euro is broken up, until you reverse the social market model, you will not help youth unemployment. However, I must concede you've had one great victory. A couple of years ago, Mr Barroso said that the European Union was an empire, and your empire has just expanded. Um, indeed, uh, David Cameron appears to be the biggest cheer cheerleader for the EU extending all the way to the Urals. No, you've got Croatia. You've planted your flag on Croatian soil. Not, of course, that there was much public support for this. Only 22% of Croatians turned out to vote in the European Parliament elections. But there was plenty of support from the Croatian political class. Oh yes, in fact, the Prime Minister that negotiated entry, uh, Mr Sanander, uh, who of course was jailed for 10 years last year for selling national assets, well, he's been backed up by the whole of Croatia. They've sold out their country. Uh, they've done it for personal gain. They've done it to be on a bigger stage. And a country that has fought for 800 years to be independent after 20 years has given it away to these guys in front of us today. Well, you may, for the moment, be getting away with it. Uh, but it's not going to last very long. There is a gathering electoral storm. It's coming on the left, on the centre and on the right. You can hardly fail to notice uh, what has happened in big countries like France, like Italy, what's happening in Finland, what's happening in the Netherlands and indeed even what's happening in Britain. And I think the European elections next year present the opportunity for us to show you, Mr Barroso, that the European project is reversible and it needs to be reversed for the betterment of the peoples of Europe. There's a question. Mr. Dahl has a question for you, Mr. Farage. On Croatia, Mr. Farage, they've had a referendum and they've freely, by a referendum, voted to accede to the European Union. We need to respect democracy and referendums. Don't you agree? Secondly, are, your, are you paid by European money or by UK money as an MEP? I'm sure in the Isle of Man. Well, <laughs> there was a referendum in theory. Uh, you'll notice that less than 50% of people turned out to vote. You'll notice that millions of euros from the European institutions were poured for many years into Croatia. You'll notice there was something called pre-accession aid, we could call it bribery if you like, that was poured into Croatia. And you know, there was a prize. We offered a prize for the first Eurosceptic article to appear in a Croatian newspaper and in the three years leading up to the referendum we didn't have to give away any money. And that's the point. It's a one-sided political debate and it's all about the power of Brussels and the greed and vanity of politicians in member states. And yes, I am paid by the European Parliament because what I'm doing just as the Scottish National Party do, just as the Irish nationalists in the 19th century did, is we are using this money to expose the waste, the fraud, the extent to which our countries are now governed by these chambers. And the sooner I get the opportunity, sir, to be the Turkey that votes for Christmas, I will do so.